The saying, it's always in the last place you look best, summarizes the symptoms of a bad camshaft sensor. This tiny part causes issues even experts miss, so I'll show you how to spot and fix it. First, what is the camshaft position sensor? The camshaft sensor does exactly as its name implies. It monitors the position and speed of the camshaft. Then, it sends all this juicy data straight to the engine control module, or ECM, which takes that info and decides just the right moment for fuel injection and spark timing. The camshaft position sensor is usually found on the rear of each cylinder head. Some cars have one on each side, others have two. But make no mistake, this small sensor is a big deal. When it fails, your car can quickly go from drivable to dead weight. The first bad camshaft position sensor symptom is the check engine light. When the ECM detects irregularity in the sensor's readings, it triggers the warning light. Common diagnostic trouble codes related to this issue include P0340 to P0349. You can get a free scan at any shop nearby, but having your own OBD2 scanner is better. If that check engine lights off, don't get too comfy. Trouble might still be lurking. The second symptom of a bad camshaft position sensor is trouble starting the engine. If your car is taking longer than usual to start, it could be because the ECM is not receiving accurate data from the camshaft position sensor. The engine might struggle to get the timing of spark and fuel injection right, resulting in a slow or even failed start. The third bad camshaft position sensor symptom is engine misfire. Just because your car starts doesn't mean the camshaft position sensor is back to normal. The timing for fuel injection and spark is still off, and it's happening randomly. And when that timing is off, other problems begin. Fuel and spark won't line up, causing the car to shudder, vibrate, or even jerk. It doesn't matter if you're driving fast or slow, these issues will still show up. The fourth sign of a bad camshaft position sensor is engine stalling. The ECM controls fuel injection and spark timing. When it's off, the engine suffers. Fuel is missed, and the engine eventually shuts off. Usually, stalling happens when the car is still. But a bad camshaft position sensor is different. It can make your car stall while driving. That's a serious issue. Of course, other causes could be at play. I'll explain those at the end. So, stick around. There's a crucial tip coming up. The fifth bad camshaft position sensor symptom is rough idling. When the ECM gets bad camshaft data, things go wrong. It commands the spark plugs to fire off time. This causes a misfire and leads to rough idling. A rough idle is a warning sign. If your car idles rough but doesn't stall, you still have time to replace the camshaft sensor. Waiting until it stalls will cost you more. A garage visit could cost around $300, but if you do it yourself, it's under $100. The sixth symptom of a faulty camshaft position sensor is difficulty changing gears. The ECM relies on camshaft sensor data. It uses this information to manage gear shifts. But when the sensor fails, things change. The ECM struggles to choose the right gear. You may feel delayed or hesitant shifts. Sometimes, it picks the wrong gear entirely. In some cars, a failing sensor triggers limp mode. This mode protects the engine from further damage by keeping the car in one gear only, which can lead to even more issues. The seventh bad camshaft position sensor symptom is poor acceleration. When you press the accelerator, air enters the engine. More fuel is needed to keep combustion steady. The ECM controls this air-slash-fuel ratio precisely. But if it misreads the camshaft position, problems start. Fuel delivery will be off, and combustion won't be adequate. As a result, your car struggles to accelerate, and that leads to another costly symptom. 
The eighth symptom of a bad camshaft position sensor is poor fuel mileage. Have you noticed a drop in fuel efficiency lately? A bad camshaft position sensor might be to blame. The ECM relies on this sensor for timing fuel injections. When it fails, fuel is injected at the wrong time. This leads to more fuel burned than needed. Your gas mileage suffers as a result. In fact, it can cost you up to 20% more in fuel. A failed emissions test is the ninth bad camshaft position sensor symptom. When the engine fails to ignite fuel, issues arise. Unburned fuel leaks through the exhaust system. This leads to a failed emissions test, and that means a trip to the mechanic. Repair costs can add up quickly, but there's a way to avoid this. I'll share that tip at the end. The 10th bad camshaft sensor symptom is unusual engine noise. When the camshaft position sensor malfunctions, it can cause unusual engine noises. You might hear knocking, pinging, or other irregular sounds. These noises indicate disruptions in the combustion process, often due to improper timing. The final symptom of a bad camshaft position sensor is the smell of fuel. As we've mentioned in the previous two symptoms, a fault with the camshaft position sensor will cause fuel to be injected into the car, but not burnt. As the fuel leaks out of the exhaust, you will smell it. Left unchecked, a bad camshaft position sensor will eventually cause other car parts to break down. That is why it is important to identify a faulty sensor and fix it quickly. How do you test a camshaft position sensor? If you have noticed several of these symptoms, the first thing to do is whip out your OBD2 scanner and diagnose thoroughly. If everything seems fine, but still has these issues, it is time for a visual inspection. Start by parking your car on a level surface and turning off the engine. Pop the hood and disconnect the battery. Next, locate the camshaft position sensor. Depending on the model you drive, you might be able to access it directly, or you might have to remove the air filter housing and the throttle body. Once you find it, unscrew the bolt, unplug the electrical connector, and pull out the sensor. Check for physical signs of wear, damage, or corrosion. Also, check to see if the seal is nice and snug. If the seal is loose, or you notice signs of wear and tear, it is time to replace the camshaft position sensor. Note that you might not need to replace all of them, especially if the scanner shows you which is faulty. How do you replace the camshaft position sensor? Swapping out a new camshaft position sensor is so easy, you could turn it into a side hustle and make a few hundred dollars rather than wasting it on a mechanic. Simply remove the bad camshaft position sensor and push in the new one until it sits firmly on the cylinder head. Next, Insert the electrical connectors and put the bolt back in. You don't have to make it too tight, but ensure the camshaft position sensor isn't wiggling. Reconnect the battery, start the engine, and let it run for 20 minutes. At this point, the check engine light will reset and you're all set. Recognizing the symptoms of a bad camshaft sensor is essential for preventing bigger issues like stalling, poor fuel economy, and unusual engine noises. Before you go, don't get your camshafts and crankshafts twisted. Check out Symptoms of a Bad Crankshaft Position Sensor next. Because yes, they're different, and mixing them up could leave you scratching your head and your engine.